Governor Kemp says more details on what exactly that order means will be published tomorrow. He also says he will sign an executive order to close all K through 12 schools for the rest of the school year. New at 11, ABC 27's Christian Thomas is talking with parents in South Georgia about their plans now that the kids will be stuck at home. What will he know? What will he not know? What will he need to know? What can I teach him? Hope Butler's son Latuan is going to the sixth grade next year. After news of all Georgia schools closing for the rest of the school year, it sparked major concern. The focus is, is he going to be behind as well as the other students because they're not getting this, this ending that they need to go to the next grade. Her son goes to school in Decatur County. Like most schools, they're using technology to get their lessons. But Butler says they're doing the work, but it's not being graded like it would if they were in the classroom. School districts in Georgia are now making plans for their students. For example, Valdosta City Schools tells ABC 27, the one thing we promise is that the best interest of our children, our community, and our employees will remain at the forefront of every decision we make. While districts are planning, some students like Latuan wish they could have had a little more time with their teachers. I do miss all my teachers. I will say that. And beyond this year, his mom wants to know. What's going to happen to next year? Because they haven't completed this last semester. Questions many parents have in Georgia tonight. In Thomasville, Christian Thomas, ABC 27. Valdosta City Schools will continue to provide meals for their students during this time. And for more information on the story, make sure you visit our website, WTXL.TV.